permission to make us a scene. And I want to talk up with you. I'm listening. I have borne the pains of the untimely death of my son. Though I know it will be very difficult for me to forget. But I thank God that he has Mesa Machuku and Mark Wachuku. Though Mesa Machuku will grow to get married, while Mark Wachuku will become his father's heir. Now, what is your point? I have not finished. Since Edwin is no more, I am now the one that is in charge. I have asked Charles to resign from his company in Port Harcourt. Come over to Lagos and take over the management of his late brother's business. He will also take care of his children while you will manage your boutique. I don't understand. What don't you understand? Huh? Anyway, the Ringview Airline. Have they started paying compensation to the families of the victims of the last crash? I don't know. You don't know? I know you won't know. Charles will come over and start pursuing it. Hmm? Well, Mama, I think that I should let you know. My husband left a will before his death. His lawyer is away on an international conference. So why don't we just wait until the lawyer comes back? Our God will not wait. Love it. Our God will not wait. I have said what I want to say and I'm finished. That is how things should be done. Okay? Nobody will take care of my kids for me. I will take care of my kids myself. Hey! I know your plans. I know your plans. No wonder you have brought your mother to come and live with you here in this house. Fine. Go ahead. Bring every member of your family. Let them come and live here. But I want you to know something. I am his mother. And I have the right over my son's house. I can do anything. Okay? Well, Mama, I have nothing else to say to you. I'll wait for the lawyer to return. So, look, look, look at this. This is all crap. She wants to dictate to me how to run my family. <laughs> Love it. You listen to me. This is totally unacceptable to me. It can't happen. Oh, Let sleeping dogs lie. They will not lie this time. Uh -uh. Why do you want to accept this rubbish from these people? Why? How oh, good? You disappoint me. What did I send you to school for? Why can't you stand and fight your right? I know my right. No, you don't. It's just that I cannot start struggling over Eddie's properties with his family now. This is the right time. Arab people are not easy to deal with. You have to let them know that you also know what they know. No, I'm trying to be diplomatic. Diplomacy won't work here. Let your mother-in-law know that you are in charge. Can't you see that this woman is trying to make you pass it? If I do anything now, they will say... Let them say anything. So nobody will say you killed your husband. And you should have my I know. You don't know anything, my dear. Oh. Don't allow what happened to the other short-sighted widows to happen to you. A stitch in time, they say, saves nine. I know her body. She's a very clever and mischievous our woman. I know her. And her son, Charles, is the devil's advocate. The only person one can say is fairly okay in that family is Uzoma, her daughter. Mommy, Uzoma is a good woman. In fact, I've decided to call her so she can come down and, and we talk about all this. Love it. This is not the time for you to trust anybody. She may be nice. Okay, fine. But don't you think she will take sides with her mother? Not the Ozuma mother I know. Okay. I'm waiting. Thank God I'm in this Lagos. I am going to be here until I see the end. I know. 
Don't make it sound as if I'll be gone for eternity. I mean, I'm not going to be away for a day. I know, it's just that you'll be so lonely in this house without you. I know. Alright, um, let's do it this way. If you don't mind, let's make the trip together. What? Yes, why, why not? Right! <laughs> Okay, um, let me pack a few things. Uh... What? You know it. The only problem I'm going to have with that now is if I leave you not to go in there and get dressed, you are going to take the next three hours doing so. And I'll miss my flight. Okay, okay, your lord and master, you can go. It's alright. But you must promise to visit Nurse and Marco. Oh, why not? Certainly. I will see them. Okay, so what would you like to have for lunch tomorrow? My usual? Mm -hmm. And the diamond is last year. You have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll let you go. Okay. And I'll be here when you come back. All right. Journey mercies. Take care of you. Or oh, better still, why don't I take you to the airport? The driver is waiting. So? Ask him to come down and drive you. Okay. Please. 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 Let me get my bag. Please. Make it slow. to let go. I see him always in my dreams. Love it. That's because you've always been thinking about him. I think it's because we didn't see his corpse. Eddie's corpse was not seen. Only sand from the site of the crash was put in the coffin and buried. Let's see. Don't bother yourself about this things, okay? The most important thing is that he was accorded the burial that befits a man of his status. His was not the only body that was not found. The bodies of the 117 passengers on board were also not found. Mom, we're talking about my husband here. My Eddie, not the bodies of other people. how you feel okay but you have to pull yourself together now and begin to think of how to take care of your children and then take charge of your husband's business that's the most important thing mom it's not fair Teresa how good is that is that how you people behave love it so you have started planning with your mother how to take over my son's business and his property. Forgetting that he has brothers. Eh? Ma Mama, it's... Thank God I, I left for Lagos. Thank God! It's not what you think it is, Mama. You don't have to be angry. Why would I, I be angry? Why would I? Eh? I had everything that your mother told you to do. I had everything. I got it. For your information, I was only advising my daughter. Advisor General. Hey, don't, don't, don't call me, Mama. Don't open that your mouth to call me, Mama. Are you from Aro or Kibu? 
she was married to your son. Why are you going to tell me that? Don't worry. Go ahead. Teresa! Agadi, what did you say? Oh no, she. Mama, what is. Did you hear what your mother called? No, she didn't mean to say that. In my son's house. I knew it. Ha! Oh, 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 Can I have my food? Which food? Men like you cook for your wives. Look, let me tell you. If you're waiting for me to give you food, then you die of hunger. You had better go to the kitchen and fix something for yourself. There is a demon operating in you. You are the demon! You are the demon! You are the bad! Demon like you! Call me a demon! Look at you! I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you. I don't blame you too! I don't blame you! It is just about the girlfriends that I blame! I can't imagine why a young girl like you will be quarreling. You take delight in quarreling every minute of the day. As if that's not enough, you take the quarry to bed and deny me of my right. Which right? Hey! I know that is what is paining you, and I will not give it to you because I know it is really paining you. Okay. Okay. He has made me lose appetite now. For the sake of your kids, try and tolerate her. Tolerate her? She has become intolerable, incorrigible. Look, I never loved her in the first place. I married her because of my mom. I mean, look, look I never loved her in the first place. It was her pressure that she was spying on me that made me marry her. Kissa, you amuse me. If you never loved her, then why did you marry her in the first place? You see, I thought love would come with time. And she has given you two kids. But you know how these things happen? Come on, Kissa, say, say, listen to me. Let me tell you this. One time face to face as a friend and as your pal. You are better make up with your wife and make your marriage work. So look come on, you've turned yourself into a refugee in my house. Are you then asking me to no, leave your house? The thing is that you know my wife is due to come back from Dubai next week. Yeah, I understand. Okay, so listen to me, please. Don't misunderstand me, okay? Please. Yeah, I won't. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know you have always been a good friend. So your line can be on, eh? And where on earth have you been for the past four days? 
It caused the line on me. And he did. Kessa is trying me. Okay, let me call him. Hello. Hello, Mama. Good afternoon, Mama. Mama, I was able to get Kessa online. As I was talking to him, he called the phone, the, the line on me. Okay, Mama. Okay. Thank you, Mama. All right. So you cast the light on me when you made everybody miserable in the house for five days? Is this the first time we are cutting the line on each other? Listen, if you don't get out of my office, right? I will not get out. Did so you tell me where you are staying? I should tell you where I am staying. Yes. You have ceased to remember that we are no longer husband and wife. What? You are joking. You are not serious. Okay. Who we'll know who is joking and who is serious? And listen, I'm giving you 48 hours to go to your mother and bring my kids back because I don't want her to contaminate them with how wicked ways which she has transferred to you. Stop! You are insulting my mother. Why don't you insult my own mother too? You see, when a dog wants to die. The dog refuses to perceive the smell of feces. Listen, I will not talk to you again. If you want to die, I am ready to kill you right now. If you don't get out of my office, I am going to electrocute you to death right now. I'm giving you five seconds. One. I thought you were not afraid. If life doesn't do you right, it shouldn't make you worry. The challenges of this world is not in front of me, right? Yeah. But look above, there's someone. Good day, Paul. I've come to see you. Why have you come to see me? Why? Kester, do you want to give me high blood pressure? Mom, you are the one giving yourself high blood pressure. How can you disappear for four whole days without telling your wife your whereabout? Mom, I went to where I can have peace of mind. Because you have been fueling and putting fire that is burning in my house right now. Me? Yes, you. Dorothy? Yes, Your Mom. mother? Yes! Your high-headedness, your creation, has brought hatred in my family. Mom, for your information, I cannot continue with that marriage anymore. I hate Isioma with a passion. Mom, enough is enough. Leave me alone, please. Please. Please, oh. Hey! Hey! Kese me wata? What the car why you need? What the car why? I hope nothing is wrong with you. They have not told you how your mother is. I will tell you. Never thought I'd like you to vacate my brother's room. That way I'd like to stay. Says who? Says Charles Scalu. That is what I have said. And I'm not mincing words. <laughs> Charles, now I know that your brain is a tabula rasa, a clean slate. You mean you actually resigned from work to come and acquire your brother's properties? He is dead now. And someone. And you're so happy. Do I look like the killer of your husband? While your brother was alive, there was no love lost between the two of you.
us. You mean you've not left your evil ways? Chandras, how could you? Have you ever asked me for anything and I did not give it to you? I'm talking to you. You, 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 you are sitting down there looking up at Todd. My bank manager called me this afternoon to confirm a certain check of 5 million naira that I purportedly uh, issued. Of course I knew I never gave out any check, so I asked him to stop the check and as a matter of fact, invite the police. Lo and behold, who did we have? Charles. Charles forged my signature to dupe me of Five million naira. What? Charles. How could you? Were you going to steal from yourself? Huh. Now listen, young man. If there's anything that belongs to you in this house, as little as a pin, I want you to get in there now and pick it up and get out of my sight forever. By that I mean, until I die, I never want to set my eyes on you again. No, oh, come on, sweetheart. No, please. Please. I don't for you. During his burial, you were aloof. Is it at the height of wickedness? Love it, my well brought up child. I want you to stop wasting your energy on this thing. Please, please, madam, do not insult me. If she insults you, what will you do? What will you do? Charles, I have had enough of these problems. You people should leave me alone to mourn my husband in peace. Leave me alone to mourn my husband in peace. That's all right, my child. That's all right. I have told you to stop wasting your time, wasting your energy on this, on this, on this mommy's baby. Just give him the letter and let's go in. Go and give him. And as it is right now, there is absolutely nothing we can do. Uh -huh. We can decide not to obey the court injunction. Must we obey it? I'm sorry, Mama, I would have to obey the court injunction because if we do not, Lovett could get us arrested. Hey. Is that her plan? Uh -huh. But that will not work. I will make sure that I. Ma. Mama, this is far more serious than you think. This is very serious. Charles. Mama. Tomorrow, we are going to take over Edwin's business. Mama, you see, that is only proper. That is what the case should be. 
But Lovett has gone ahead to get a court injunction, and as it is, we do not have a choice but to wait until my brother's will is read. Are you sure there was a will? It was too young to write a will. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, but we'd have to wait for Barristan UK to come back to ascertain that. Are you sure she did not cook all this up? Eh? She's the one arranging all this up. I don't know. But Mama, what am I going to be doing in this house while we wait for that barrister to come back? What? If that is the case, you have to go to the office of the Ringview Airline and find out if they have started paying compensation to the families of the victims. With that, 40 million naira will enter your hands. That's very true, Mama. In that way, I'll have to look for a way to locate where their office is. Just go to the airport and... It's okay, Mama. I know how to go about it. But before that, I'd have to see Lovett. Lovett! 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 You! You would see what I'll do to you. I will tell you that liars does not challenge the lion. And that the leopard is much stronger than the tiger. You're just a mere adolescent. And by the time I'm through with you, I will show you that the male eagle is not more intelligent than the female. Although it gathers the fiber, yet it doesn't know how to make a nest. And I will tell you that you do not have a base in this family. Then you forget that no one knows the river better than its occupants. If a stranger does not thread wisely, he gets lost in transit. <laughs> You think you are as wise as a serpent? Wiser than the serpent, yet more innocent than the dove. I will tell you that you can be educated, yet illiterate. Enlightened, yet timid. You think you've grown? You're just a small fry. Time shall tell. Time shall not tell, because time itself is an existence. You think you're full of knowledge? You're just an ignorance. I never realized that you are a viper. Every woman is a viper with her poison. And like a snake, it releases that poison when provoked. Eddie never provoked me. He had the antidote to the poison. Well then.
Hello. Tola. Okay, okay, send him to my office. <clears throat> Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, Tola, uh, please get me flight operations. Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's okay, I understand you people are um, very easy. Hello? Mr. Ajay? Yeah, the air safety management uh, has scheduled a meeting with us by 4 p.m. Okay, okay. See you then. So, how may we help you? My name is Charles Carlo. I'm the brother to Mr. Edwin Carlo, one of your crash victims. I'm actually here to know if your airline has started paying compensation to the victim's family. We will do that very soon. We are still trying to sign the final documents with our insurance companies. Please accept our heartfelt sympathy. It's all right, thank you. But when do I come around again? I mean, when do mm. I check back? We'll communicate you once we are through. How? You will know. Don't worry, okay? Have a nice day. Uh, Tola. Please ask her, yeah, ask Captain Stoikov to see me at the lodge. Okay. Mama, I've heard. I will try my best. Not try your best. You have to do your best. Mama, Kesta, Kesta, Kesta is just something as a... Mm. Is Kesta worse than all the men in this world? Is Kesta worse than your father, uh, Dioba Chutwa? Mama, he is worse. He sleeps outside, he nags, then get him to stay in the house. Me? That's one. Please, I don't have his time. It's your man. Do you know that the success of every marriage lies in the hands of the woman? Mama, no. I disagree with you. The success of every marriage lies in the hands of the man. Shut up. Who taught you that? Where did you get that idea from? Let me tell you something. This your constant stubbornness and constant fighting with your husband might break up your marriage, you know. Uh -huh. Is he the only man on earth? Don't talk like that. Yeah. Just don't talk like that because all this quarrel and stubbornness can break up your home. Let me tell you something. No man. No man will put me in his pocket and I mean it. Shut up. Shut up! The death that will kill the dog does not allow it to perceive the smell of feces. I, Mponya, I was submissive to your father and that is why my marriage was a success. And that was why he kicked you like football. Mama, no man will do it to me. No, no man. No, please, I have a flight to catch. Eh? Wife can't see and... Uh, it's your mother better listen can't to me. Say. Being submissive is just going to take you a lot of There's no point running and pretending you're not getting one
looks so down. You look so worried. Do you know I have not had sex? I've not made love for the past five months. Five what? Five months? No, Kessler, come on. You, you, you can't be serious. You, don't, don't tell me that. I'm not kidding. But Kessler, you always have Isioma with you. Yes, we quarreled. Each time we quarrel, she denies me of having sex with her. I can remember the last time we, we made love was like five months ago. Five months ago? Just because she had the no, urge. No, 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 man. This is, this is way too far. We didn't even make love. We had sex. Oh, this, is, this is too bad. Poor you. No, no, this is wrong. It's so much she not deny you sex. Because it is your conjugal right. Sexual gratification is one of the basis of marriage. I think you should call my wife and educate her on that. Each time we have a misunderstanding, she takes it to bed. I think um, it's high time I had a girlfriend. No, 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 Kista, no. Just, just drop that idea. Okay? Just drop that idea. Please. And by the way, where is she? I haven't seen her since I came here. She went to Port Harcourt to bring my kids back that been staying with her mother for weeks. You mean as small as they are, you allowed your wife to take your kids to her mom? Oh, no, 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 this is, this is, this is... This That's is the bondage that I've tied myself to. You don't say. She did. She calls the shot. If she says something and object to it, we'll quarrel. And I don't have that strength. So she says her mom wanted to see the kids and stay with them for two weeks. Who am I to say no? Hello? What? What is it? Plane crash in Port Harcourt? Jesus, God forbid. What? Oh my god, and my kids, my kids are supposed to fly down to Lagos from Portugal. Kesta, please, oh. Kesta, listen to me. Kesta, oh please, Kesta, listen to me. Kesta, look at the passengers has just crashed at the Portacot airport. The reason for the crash has not been known, but news men and reporters have rushed to the scene of the accident. We'll give you the details as soon as information gets to our studio. Stand by for the next program. Breaking news. Breaking news. And they said the plane crashed at Portacot Airport. Portacot Airport. Portacot Airport. Yeah! Hi! Hey! Hi! Hey! 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 Hey
Hey, work! My grandchildren. Obum. Kamsi. Hey! What did you just say? Mama, plane crash at the Botakote port. Hey! Plane crash. I can't believe this. My children. It's just, just basically, just come down. Give a look at yourself first. Hello? Guess that? Yes. I, I just got to leave. No, 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 don't say that. Don't, don't say it. My grandchildren cannot be involved. Don't, don't, don't say that. Hey! Guess that? I'm coming to the airport right now. Okay? Go and get me my car keys. Fast! Hey! My grandchildren! Hey! Hey, what? Hey, what? Are you Vivian? Get my doggies fast! Children just came back. What kind of thing is this? Where are my grandchildren? They had shock when the accident occurred. How to give them Fanny girl to sleep? You should have seen. It was not the children. Mom did not even say it. Your parents. You should have seen parents crying. You so let's do something. Okay. Did you see those innocent little children? <gasps> Born to ashes. Hey! Hello. What is this country turning into? What is this country turning into? Only say Buluwa, please. Please save us. Save us from this calamity. Hey! Hmm. Can you imagine? They even said that they've taken Pastor Bimbo to the hospital. I just hope that she doesn't die. I just hope that she gets well, oh, because she really tried her best to, to save those innocent children. But they died at last. Oh my God. Oh God. What a terrible loss. This is a really terrible loss. What is happening in this country? What is going on? Oh, death. Where is that thing? God. Death. What a shame. Even innocent children. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. I don't even know how to travel again. Whether I should go by road, sea or air. Eh? Disaster everywhere. Plane crashing every now and then. Oh no. Oh. Hey! Will you save us? Save us. God save us, oh. Save us from this calamity. Father, save us. Hey! Mm. Mm. Hey! Mm. Uncle, what's wrong with you? Nancy, come on, please shut your mouth. Get out of the house. Back to you. I will find you. I don't want to get down with you. Mama, come on, I'm 
want your grandchildren. You know. You are worse than them when you are there. Mama, after the service, I'll be going to the airport to buy my ticket in case it's money. It's your man. Mama, do you want to commit suicide? How? Please, if you want to, don't do that with my grandchildren. Wait, wait, wait. After what happened yesterday, you want to go back by air? Mama, but I don't have any option. Yes, you do. You have an option. You can go back by road. Mama, going by road is not even safe. And the roads are bad. Even robbers attack people who are traveling. I still prefer traveling by air to road. Going by road is a better option. I would rather have you travel by road than to travel by air. Let her take me to the mortuary before you embark on that journey. I'm having for people. Okay. After what happened yesterday. I've heard, Mama. Come see! Abu! Are you trying to? There was darkness in the daylight. Hmm. The weather was very angry. And the country stood still. <laughs> Mama, if you had seen corpses of little children. Oh. Ah. Puppies and students, you will know that there's nothing on this earth. <laughs> please, please, please don't tell me. Please. Ah. I heard that Pastor Bimbo would have lived. <laughs> From what her personal assistant. The only survivor of the crash said that pastor would have lived to. Mm. She only wanted to save the lives of the kids when the fire <laughs> got her. God. Oh. I cried for her and the children. Oh. Ah, pastor Bimbo. Oh my God. I loved that woman of God very much. But she died doing the work of God. May her gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. Even when she was being taken to the hospital, mm. she was calling her husband, Pastor Taiwo. Tell my husband that I love him. Mm. Tell my husband that I love him. Oh, God. Oh. Ah. This is a no. great tragedy. A most revered woman of God. A woman that brought love, peace, and happiness to many who. Oh, God, I will never forget Pastor Bimbo. I will never. Hmm. Eh? Mama, do you know that? That same aircraft was meant to bring us to Lagos. God forbid. <laughs> ah, we're only waiting for it to land when it's crash landed. Ah! Hey! I thank you. I thank you very much. Who could I have told my story? <laughs> Mama, the aviation industry is rotten. Hmm. Honestly, I agree with you. It is even safer to travel by road. Which road? The one that government has refused to repair. Hmm. That's death trap. Mama actually insisted that we must travel by road. And thank God we did. Eh? Father, I thank you. Oh! Thank you. Thank you for joining me, sis. Eh, hey, <laughs> Vivian! Go and pack your things. You are going to go back home with Isioma. Mommy, I don't want to go back to Isioma. I'm tired of seeing watching her and sort of guest her. I want to stay here. Vivian! Are you stupid? You're not stupid. Come back here! Mommy, it's the truth. I want to stay here. You're my daddy's sister. I want to stay with you than to stay with her. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. This girl has started growing with <laughs> My dear, I apologize for her rudeness. I will speak with her. And honestly, she will go back home. Oh, oh Mama. Leave her. Leave her. She's only taking sides with Kesta. Just leave her. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not like that. You know, she and Kesta are cousins. And they are very close. What do you expect her to do? Eh? Just leave her. She's a small girl. I'll speak with her. 
okay? And I'll get back to you, okay? Back to Lagos safe. Yes, Mama. Yes, so oh, thank God. We thank God for Johnny Messes. Yeah, we thank God for Johnny Messes. And how are my grandchildren? Come see your chupu and album sell. They are fine. They are doing real good. My love to them, okay? And what about my son in law? Mama, please, let's talk about something else. Isioma, I have told you. You have to be submissive for your marriage to work. It's Did she just cut the line or is it a network problem? Isioma, she'll never change. lost her husband in the Brainview air crash and now her two kids. God, I'm beginning to hate this country. When I saw the picture that I spent on the newspaper, I lost control of myself. Jesus Christ. My happiness had just turned to sad. present administration. Why can't this government protect the lives and properties of our citizens? What is wrong in the aviation sector for crying out loud? Too many air disasters. In, in a short time, the minister should have resigned in the first place. If it would be in more civilized countries, his resignation is that the solution to the faulty aviation sector? Yes. He stopped when everything is happening under his ministry. Therefore, he's responsible. We should have resigned. The Air Space Management Agency, the Air Traffic Regulatory Agency, the Air Safety Management and the Nigerian Airport Authority and others, what have they been doing for Christ's sakes? Out of their negligence, of their duties, Look at the prominent Nigerians and other citizens, future leaders of this country that just died through an air disaster within a short while. But well, at least in the 
Lucino and crash the black bus was foul. And now we're supposed to ascertain the true nature of the bus. Unlike the review crash where the black bus was not found. Even if they had found or seen the black box in the October 22nd air disaster. And it helps in that investigation. Would they have made the report public for the entire citizens to know what happened? No! Do you know why? Because so many people will be indicted. Yes, sir. The aviation industry is corrupt. The use of an unauthorized aircraft that are over 30 years. Lack of maintenance of their air buses as their problems. If the government are serious in solving this problem, they should just set standards for these um, airline operators. And if they can't meet it, they should be granted. That's it. Kista, can you imagine? Just, just look at how I lost my lecturer, Professor Cloudy, a professor of political economy. On November 7, 1996, on that ill-fated air crash, killing over 141 passengers and nine crew members. No survivors, not just one. And now, we have lost a ranger, Pastor Bimbo, that most people loved and revered. God, Jesus. And now tell me, hmm? what will not happen to singles and married? I glanced through your notebook. Can I ask you a question based on what you've studied in school? Yes, ma'am. What are the two types of sonnets? First of all, a sonnet is a poem of 14 lines. And there are two types of sonnets, Italian sonnets, which is divided into sesets and couplets, and the Shakespearean sonnet, which is divided into quatrains and, and couplets. Beautiful. Clap for yourself. Again. Hmm. Take this book and study inside. Good evening, Mom. What have you come to do in my house? Do you know that I can walk you out or walk out on you? Mom, whichever way you want. The choice is yours. If you look at me now, you find out that I am not happy. I'm not a happy man at all. Something terrible happened. What happened? Dorothy is all ears. Well, um... Calamity just happened. Calamity? Did anybody die? People died. Did you get any message from your sister in Canada? Mm. Mom, do you know Lovett that lost her husband a couple of months ago? Love it. The lady that lost her husband in the Ringview October 22nd air crash that killed 117 passengers. Exactly. She just lost two of her children in the recent Lucisso air crash that happened, killing 107 passengers. Oh my God. What is this world doing? What's happening? 
poor girl. Uh, I just got the information today. I came to ask you if you will accompany me to pay her a condolence visit. Why not? What is this world turning into? What's happening? Well then, I'll give you a call when I'm ready. Okay. I have banga soup and starch in the house. Do you want to eat? No, Mom. Thank you. I don't have appetite. Okay. Don't you give up easily. The best is yet to come Just believe in your dreams Don't you let it be Yeah There's more in front of you Than what meets the eyes If you can hold on a little longer You can reach the end Oh, hold on And then she went to the village to bury her children. Uh, yes, um, we'll have to hold on until she comes back. Kester, I want to invite you and your family to dinner. On one condition, Mom, I'll only come with Kamsi and Obum. Kester, I thought we have talked about Isioma's issue. And whatever she has done to you, I told you to forgive. Well, Mon, if you insist on inviting her, count me on because I have a date with my girlfriend. This boy caught the line on me. He's not picking my call. Ah, Kesta. Yes, what happened is that one discussed. I I will call the airline and then make the appointment. But because right now. I have to rush to the salon to pick Lisa. She's been waiting for me. Kista, Kista, you are going too far with Mona Lisa. How do you mean? The relationship is becoming something else. Do you know why? Now tell me. Lisa knows I'm a man who is deprived of love. She knows I'm a man who has not found happiness since he got married. She also knows I'm a man who did not marry out of love, but coerced into marrying a girl he is incompatible with. Uh, so now you found true happiness, huh? Yes, that is an understatement. Listen, I found true love. You see, Lisa adores me. She respects me. Mm -hmm. See, this is what all women, you know, should emulate. Love your man. Adore him, make him feel like the king that he is. He will in turn reciprocate that gesture. It is in the Bible. Kesta, Kesta, the way you sound, hmm? you may end up marrying that girl. God, that would be the best thing that will happen to me. Then we will not live our lives to the fullest. Look at me. I'm a management and public relations consultant, yet I do not have peace in my house. And I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Kester, you're not just comfortable, okay? Listen, Mecca, you know what? 
You're a tortoise. Who knows that he is a trickster? Yet, feigns ignorance of being tricky. How do you mean? Let's leave that for another day. Christmas is around the corner. And we'll be hearing, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Unfortunately, no one has been singing that to me in my house. So I have decided to take a trip to South Africa with Mola Lisa. You can't be serious. Can be serious? Kesta, come on, you are supposed to spend your Christmas with your family. Yeah, uh, if it were possible, I would have taken my two kids along with me, but I don't want an interruption. So they will stay with my mom and enjoy the Christmas. Hmm. My mom, talk of the devil. Hello? Y yeah, mom. Mom, l listen, I am not spending this Christmas at Ibuzo. Mom, mom, please, don't start. Uh, mom? <laughs> she calls the line. Oh, she won't watch you. I'm sick of phone. Well, um, I'll be back in January. Hmm, okay, sir. Mona Lisa is going to kill you. You know she's very sumptuous and fairly fabulous. Hmm? Kill me? I don't think so. Sumptuous? Have you been there? You know I'm faithful to my wife. I can't cheat on her. Let me see to your card. Your key, my friend. Have your key. <laughs> take your key. What is wrong with you? Please put this key off. Take, take your key, my friend. You like double your key. <laughs> Scripture also said that the joy of the Lord had dead no sorrow. Look at me now. I am timeless. <laughs> Love it. The Love joy it. of the Lord. <laughs> Love it. What is this? Huh? Mess up, I leave that thing alone. <laughs> Love it. Jesus, Lord help me. Lord help me. Love it. Are you alright? You have your heart at the back, and you will have your heart in front. What has it fetched you? So, you couldn't ask after Lovett when you know that she's at the hospital? Do I look like a psychiatric doctor who would treat her of her madness? Listen, let me tell you something. Oh. The psychiatric doctor we saw at Yaba said that she's having slight schizophrenia or little delusion. Yes, so why you stop making me lie? You said the psychiatrist said she has schizophrenia, little delusion, all that blah blah blah. Now listen to me. Lovett has started having symptoms of madness. And very soon, very soon, that madness will become full bloom. God forbid! She will not have madness. Do you know what that woman has been through? A woman that lost her husband and children under two months. That woman is supposed to be mad. But of course. That woman has to be mad. And I want to see how under such circumstances Lovett would come into this house and then contest the properties of Eddie with me. So you are happy over her misfortune? Listen, Uzuma. The only reason I, Charles, Kalu, would be present at that burial is because of my nephew and my niece. 
I don't know who you inherited this gross wickedness and indiscipline from. Zuma, you know you and I still have an axe to grind. You remember? You are a visionless stunt. So you resigned your lucrative job to come to Lagos to fight Lovett over her properties because Mama told you to do so. What a shame! And who told you that those properties belong to Lovett? I knew Edwin more than you did. We were so close. You will receive the shock of your life. What haven't I done for you? Charles, what haven't I done for you? I'm just leaving you until after the burial. Uzuma, what have you done for me? What have you done for me? Look at how your court activities in the university have made your life so unstable. I'm talking to you. Since you have beaten the fingers that fed you, I swear you will beg for food in this life. You, Uzuma. Put your hand down. Don't you dare point that finger at me. I'm your elder sister. If you dare insult me, I will suck you. Not in your life. Am I under any obligation to answer your question? Yes, sir. You left the children and I in this house alone for the past two weeks. Are you asking me if you have the obligation to answer my question? But I left 200,000 naira for you to shop for Christmas for yourself and for the children as well. Okay, sir. You think money is everything? If you think money is everything, then I don't need it. I'm not married to money, but you, you, Kessa. So you think because we are still living under the same roof, that makes us married? We are no longer married. This marriage has been terminated long ago. I went to South Africa for my Christmas with Lisa. Does that answer your question now? Kessa, Kessa, why are you doing this to me? You know this is not fair. You know I love you. Eh? What, what did I hear you say? You love me. Since when this one start? I beg, tell that to the Marines. You had the opportunity of loving me, but you blew it. Listen, I'm divorcing you. Yes, sir. Go and tell my mom. You know we have been fired for fire. Please excuse me. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, my friend? You don't want me to enter my house? Okay. Can I not enter my house? Chicken. And chicken. Did you finish it? Yes. Yeah, give me five. That's my girl. Yes. So, tell me. I heard that you beat your sister. Is it true? Yes. Please don't beat her. You know, I say you're sorry. Sir, I'm sorry. I miss you because listen, I'm going to take you out for ice cream, okay? Yes. Hmm? Yes. 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 Shy, shy, Baba. Do you know what we're going to do now? See, see, we're going to play, 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 play. Ooh, wrestling. 
You are still strong up to this moment. You have to remain positive no matter what. I'm trying. Robert Shula said that tough times don't last, but tough people do. A senator of the old Anambra State, Dr. Ophir, in 1984, lost his wife and two children in a plane crash. At that time, Life was worthless, but he withered the storm, and today he's still kicking. My mother has been talking to me too. I would still talk to your mother to stay for some months. Now that you are in love, it, you have to be strong for the battle that is coming. You know I will always stand for justice. Mama and Charles will be coming back tomorrow. If there is anything, please do not hesitate to call me and I will take the next available flight at Port Harcourt to Lagos, okay? I've always been there for me. I don't know how to thank you. My dear, I will always be your sister and your friend, even if you remarry. I will never remarry. Please know that. You are still beautiful. If you want to give me the thoughts, please, love it. Give love a chance if it comes. My husband is influential and we will assist you in anything. Love it. Beware of Charles. He is a rattlesnake. As for me, I will settle my scores with him when the time comes. I've always been there for me since I came into this family. You don't need this anymore. You don't need these tears. The first commandment from God is love. My family will make you cry to weaken you. You have to be strong to fight for what is yours. Be courageous. Pray always. Prayer is the key. Okay? <laughs> of your, of your friends, did you uh, have uh, the position together with three, three. three of you? Are you sure? Yes. Mm? Yes. Come, come. <laughs> come, come. <laughs>
There is more to what Mr. 